We are uh, very sad to report breaking news right now. Nancy Reagan, the former First Lady of the United States, has passed away. Very sad moment for all of us, especially those of us who covered Nancy Reagan so many of those years, those wonderful years when her husband was President of the United States. Nancy Reagan has passed away at the age of 94. We're going to have extensive coverage of uh, Mrs. Reagan, beginning with a look back at her remarkable, remarkable years. Ronnie and Nancy, it was truly an American love story. I can't imagine marriage being any other way but the way that Ronnie's and mine was. And I guess that's unusual. A little bit of a miracle too, right? I, yeah. Something in the, in the gods brought you together. Mm -hmm. uh, Fortunately. A relationship not based on politics or power, but simply admiration and affection. Together we're going a long, long way. Born Anne Frances Robbins in New York City, she lived and grew up in Chicago, known by the nickname Nancy. As an adult, she headed west to Hollywood to become an actress. She signed with MGM, she became part of that family. At first, Nancy Davis was busy, but in 1949, she found her name on a list of suspected communist sympathizers in danger of being blacklisted from the business. The person on the list turned out to be another actress with the same name, but Nancy wanted reassurance. She turned to a friend for help, who set up a meeting with the president of the Screen Actors Guild, a dashing leading man named Ronald Reagan, and thus began one of Hollywood's and Washington's most enduring romances. In fact, one of her last screen appearances was playing opposite her future husband in a movie called Hellcats of the Navy. Soon after, they wed. They raised a family, including their children, Patty and Ron Jr., and her husband's two children, Maureen and Michael, from his previous marriage to Jane Wyman. In 1966, Ronald Reagan began a second career as a full-time politician and was elected governor of the nation's largest state, California. the duties upon which... Nancy was always at his side, and always gazing at him with that loving stare. It was for real. That wasn't an actress. The adoration that they had for each other. I congratulate you, sir. That I, I don't remember thinking anything except that, my gosh, here he is, and he's president. <laughs> my Ronnie. My Ronnie. After her husband's presidential inauguration, Nancy Reagan's signature was appearing in designer gowns, especially red ones. She also redecorated the White House, both moves drawing heavy criticism. But she had her own special grit, especially after an assassin's bullet struck her husband. She never left the hospital. Few knew then how close the president came to dying, just a couple of months into his first term. Yes. Touch and go. Yes, it was. I almost lost him. She also battled breast cancer and survived. Through it all, she had many admirers and some critics, too. Chief among them, her husband's former chief of staff, Donald Reagan, who wrote a blistering book about her, including the fact that she sometimes consulted an astrologer. He's chosen to attack my wife, and I don't look kindly upon that at all. She also used her influence to launch an anti-drug program which was reduced to a simple phrase. When a young girl asked for advice and the first lady said simply, just say no. I didn't mean that that was the whole answer, obviously, but it did serve a purpose. After she and her husband left Washington, she needed her stamina more than ever after Ronald Reagan was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. It, it's sad to see somebody you love and um, have been married for so long and you can't share memories that's the sad part through it all she never lost her optimism do you ever feel that fate treated you badly no uh-uh no when you when when you balance it all out i've had a pretty fabulous life in 2004 president ronald reagan died in one of her final public appearances, the celebration of the centennial of Ronald Reagan's birth, she said, I know that Ronnie would be thrilled, and is thrilled, to have 
all of you share in his 100th birthday. Doesn't seem possible, but that's what it is. <laughs> Nancy Reagan, a strong woman in her own right, remembered also for her steady, unflinching devotion to her husband, both in and out of the spotlight.